I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 27 to 29. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. Here the Spirit of the Lord is talking to the people who are chosen by God and have been given the divine law which they had to follow. God had given them the law so that they may be serious about sin, which God hates the most. They were given the law of sacrifices so that they may understand the seriousness of the consequences of sin. But as the days went by, the children of Israel took the sacrifice as a cover to escape from the judgment of sin. They enjoyed sin to its fullest, but brought sacrifices before the Lord with a heart that showed no signs of repentance. And so the Spirit of the Lord is talking to them through an example that is very easy to understand for every individual. Everyone knows how dangerous the fire is. Still some people take it lightly and try to play with it and then suffer the consequences. Here God compares sin with fire and hot coals which we know can even consume a person and turn him to ashes. Man is afraid of his enemies that will harm him and so he is ready to defend himself and plans many things for his safety. Even the nation of Israel is busy in increasing their number of horses and soldiers, but they did not realize who their real enemy was. Though as a nation they are rich in wealth and strength, God is warning them that sin can bring the whole nation down to ashes. They need to understand how dangerous sin is. We know how God warned Cain before he was, he was about to kill his own younger brother, bound by sin. But he ignored the warning of the Lord and was driven by the lust of sin. We all have that nature inbuilt in us through which we ignore the warnings of the Lord about the seriousness of sin. It is very dangerous to play with sin. We read in the scriptures how strong individuals like David fell into the trap of sin. Just like the nation of Israel had that false confidence that they can escape the judgment of God, many newborn again believers had that false confidence that they can escape the judgment of God by taking the name of Jesus. Let us not be satisfied with the thought that if we cry and shed some tears, God will forgive us and make us white as snow. Yes, when we were dead in sins and did things which displeased God, out of ignorance, God forgave all our sins when we accepted the fact that we are sinners and believed in the name of Jesus. But once we are born again and have received the new life, God wants us to be serious about our new holy life. We need to look at sin through the eyes of the Lord as we know that we will have our old nature that has an inclination towards sin. Let us resist sin before it gets hold on us. If not, God will not spare us from the consequences. If we repent and cry out for the mercy of the Lord, we may not be burned to ashes, but we will have to bear the pain of losing our members of our body and bear the shame till our death. So let us not take sin lightly and try to play with it. Remember, sin is strong enough to attract you by its temptations and then bind you from where you can never recover by your own strength. For example, we know how youngsters start with a small pinch of drug just for fun, but they later become its slaves and it is very hard to recover. Now among the believers, the sin of pornography is increasing to its very height. Once a person is addicted to it, it is very difficult to recover from that dangerous sinful habit as it will overpower you. It destroys the bond of trust in the family and so the basic unit of the society is destroyed and broken to pieces. Let us not be satisfied by the false feeling that if we repent, we will receive forgiveness for all our sins. 
the holy scripture clearly warns us that if you sin willfully then there is no more sacrifice remaining for us the more we play with sin the more we grieve the holy spirit as we are not serious about the new life we have received through christ always remember our god is a holy god and he cannot and will not tolerate sin but let us not take the sacrifice of jesus lightly and enjoy sin thinking we will be forgiven if we just repent and show some tears the scripture warns us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling remember the bar of standard of holiness for the new testament saints is a higher standard than the old testament saints so let us take heed of the warning of the holy scriptures and be away from sinful ways we may not bear the consequences in this world but if god hardens our heart then our life will be a preparation for eternal judgment so let us ask the holy spirit god to help us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling deliverance from the bondage of sin may the lord help each one of us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us and thank you for the warnings that you give us through your word help us lord to be careful in our walk sin is standing at the door and that fallen nature is there within us lord help us to grow to your stature help us to grow spiritually so that we can overcome all the temptations and lead a holy life that's pleasing unto you may your name be glorified In Jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha